Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita, and here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Today, we're in the car. You guys love it when we film in the car. Um, so we are gonna do our Fast Five Friday in the car. And again, if you're new, welcome. But we do videos two days a week on Wednesdays. It's usually a luxury video upload. And then on Fridays, we do what we call a Fast Five Friday. So if you think that you would like it here um please stick around maybe like and subscribe before you leave and um without further ado we're gonna get started as you guys know i am doing vlogtober vlogging every day for the month of october and it has been really fun but really challenging and um one thing that i had to kind of do during the month is I had to reset several times. Like I had to, you know, realign myself. I had to recharge. I had to kind of regain my peace during the month because it's been like, go, go, go. Not only because I'm doing Vlogtober, but because as you know, I started a, a new business recently and just a lot of things that I thought I had planned for, um, have been popping up so again I found myself you know having to like reset and just reclaim my peace a lot during the month and that was very odd for me because I'm I pretty can kind of focus on what I like to do focus on the day and I really don't get kind of disheveled too often but it was very shocking for me that I have been getting that way. So I thought to myself, well, you know, why not share with the peeps the five ways that I try to recharge and reclaim and just to kind of settle down because life is busy. Life can be hectic. Life can be exciting. Even when it is something positive, it can be very overwhelming. So today I wanted to share five ways I take a step back and I reset and recharge. I like to pray over in the podcast I did a full podcast episode about the power of prayer and the benefits of prayer. So whenever I'm feeling out of pocket, whenever I know that I need to reset, recharge, and just do some things to regain my peace, I always pray. For me, that is the first thing that I have to do. Prayer, especially in the mornings, it sets the tone for my day. And when I don't pray in the mornings, I find myself... A little bit extra I find myself a little you know because instead of praying perhaps I jumped on my phone check messages went on social media check to make sure my YouTube video you know uploaded correctly and I hit the day running but not in the best possible way it really centers me it really allows the Holy Spirit to like wash over me and really set my mind so prayer is for me the number one way that I reset recharge and definitely regain my peace the second thing that I like to do when I want to reset is shop and whether it's online shopping window shopping or just physically shopping I like to shop but I like to do it alone shopping is a is a hobby I guess for me it's a um a good pastime for me it is really relaxing I know some people hate shopping I do my best shopping alone because I really start thinking about what I need I start thinking about you know what I want to wear um, I start thinking about if there's a particular outfit you know whatever and it really helps me to focus on me. So shopping for me is really therapeutic. I mean, I can go overboard and just, you know, shop unnecessarily like a lot of us. But when I have a list, when I'm like focused, when I feel like I want to do something a little special for me, and I guess you could put it under self-care too. I, I shop and it really feeds my soul. I know it's funny. I know when I told my husband that shopping really calms me, he was like, you're yeah, right. 
but it really does. The third thing that I like to do when I'm trying to like recharge and regain my peace is journal. I bought my journal with me because I knew I was going to be out today um, filming this video and I just started kind of flipping through my journal and looking at some of the things that I wrote. Journaling is very, for me, very therapeutic and it's kind of like a brain dump. Sometimes it's more like a diary style journal. Sometimes it's just bullet points of things and emotions I need to get out. Sometimes it's scripture notes and notation. A lot of times I journal and pray at the same time. Journaling helps to get emotions out for me in writing that I otherwise cannot speak. It helps you to not feel so heavy and it helps you to unwind. And I think as women, oftentimes we carry a heavy load. And I'll link down below um, some journals that I've used in the past. The fourth thing that I like to do when I definitely need to recharge is I like to support others. Um, I go out of my way. When I'm feeling low, I go out of my way to uplift others because I, my parents always taught us, even when you're going through a bad time, even when things are bad for you, it could always be worse, right? So get out of yourself and try to find a way to uplift others. I like to support others. I like to try to be happy for people when they're doing good. You know, I love to cheer people on. And fun fact, I was a cheerleader in high school. I have really taken on that personality in my life. I do like to be um, cheerleaders for others because everybody needs support. Everyone does. And ultimately, it makes me feel better. Life is hard for all of us. And sometimes we need to get out of our bubble and support other people. The fifth thing that I like to do when I need to recharge and regain my peace is I absolutely have to read my Bible. I know a lot lately I've been talking about my Bible um, and reading the Bible. And again, we go into detail about Bible principles and things of that nature on the podcast, but it's a part of me and I can't separate the two. The Bible is hard to read. The Bible is confusing. The Bible is just daunting at times. So I would suggest that you guys get a version, a readable version of the Bible so that you can understand it because there are so many gems and jewels and instructions and, and just takeaways that one could be missing if you're not reading your Bible. I usually read the NIV version, but the Message Bible, that is really good. It's in very plain English. But I will link some Bibles down below from Amazon and um, the versions that I think are easy to read because God doesn't want his word to be hidden from us. He wants us to understand it because when we pray and read our Bible, it makes us closer to him. One may ask, what's my favorite scripture? I don't have just one because there's so many, but the ones that stick out to me a lot and the one that I been meditating on a lot is um, that God gives us the ability to gain wealth. I never really thought about it that way, but everything we do, everything we do physically is because of him. And because He's he blesses us and blesses our hands and blesses the fruit of our work. So ultimately, he is the one that gives us the ability to gain wealth. Another good one is in Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord plans to prosper you and to bring you into a good end. I love that Bible verse. Another one would be about having a long, healthy life. Not only is it an acclamation, but it's a reminder that I need to do what I need to do to make sure that I have long life. 
all right guys i guess that is it i hope that you like this video and you know fast five fridays come in all shapes and sizes and uh, if you have any other questions for me down below in the description box i always leave my email my business email for prayer requests or if you just have any other questions you can hit me up there you can hit me up in the comments whatever you're comfortable with i will definitely respond and shout out to my girl t her birthday was october 20th and she is celebrating all month long i will link her channel and her instagram down below i'm sure all of you guys follow her but if you don't please go over shout her out Tell her happy birthday. Tell her that I sent you. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to keep watching Vlogtober. All right, guys. Popping back in. My camera died. So I will see you guys in the next one. I will talk to you soon. Bye.